This is the last video for this week. Differential amplifier. Just from the name, you can uh, imagine this amplifier uh, is to accept uh, two inputs in particular, amplify the difference between those two inputs. So the basic function of a differential amplifier is to subtract one signal from the other. The following is a typical differential amplifier with uh, two pairs of uh, external resistor. I say two pairs, this is R1, this is R1. If I use a same symbol, that means uh, theoretically, this is uh, exactly the same value. And here is R2, that is R2. Again, it's uh, exactly the same value. But in reality or in engineering, you wouldn't get uh, two resistors exactly the same value. Uh, here we just uh, assume they are the same. Uh, um, this circuit has two features. One is to uh, accept the two inputs, V1 and V2. Uh, from here you can see you have two inputs, V1 and V2. Uh, second feature is the output is pro proportional to the difference between the two inputs, uh, either V2 minus V1 or V1 minus V2. So I give you this uh, conclusion first, then we can use a different approach either by current analysis or by superposition principle to verify this uh, conclusion there. So by current analysis, we uh, consider bottom two resistors uh, first, R1 and R2. Uh, let's uh, consider those uh, two resistors. We have uh, input voltage V2. Uh, that uh, voltage would generate a current. The current goes this way. Because this is uh, ideal operational amplifier, there is no current here, no current. So the current, there is only one way to leave this point is uh, that way. So the current, only one way to go is uh, through this way. Because of this, we can um, find out the potential. If we define this is V plus, the potential at uh, this point by voltage divider. That means this voltage take a part of uh, V2. Uh, in the past, we learned how to work out um, this uh, potential by voltage divider. So it's a V plus equals V2 the times this uh, resistor, this is R2, and divided by overall. Overall is R1 plus R2. So this is a V plus equals this. So we, we can find out this uh, potential. Oh, that is, uh, okay, that, that is uh, here. It's a uh, V plus, V plus equals V2 times R2, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Right. Now we consider two resistors on top is R1, R2, we consider those two. Uh, now we uh, uh, assume this uh, potential at uh, this point so here is uh, V minus. Yeah, that is the minus. We suppose here is a V minus. So the potential difference across this resistor is V1 minus V minus divided by R1. That is a current through this resistor. Now this current must flow away from this point. If we look here, there will be no current here because this is an ideal operational amplifier with a an ideal amplifier, this input impedance is infinite. So there will be no current through, go this way. So this current, only one way to go, let's go that way. As we know, the potential here is V minus, and here is a V zero, that is output voltage. 
So the potential difference across this resistor is a V uh, minus, minus V zero. And then I divide by this uh, resistance, the, by the, this uh, R2, that is a uh, current. Uh, that is current in, this is a current out. According to Kirchhoff current law, this current must be equal to this current. So I use a big uh, equal link those uh, two parts together. That is V1 minus V minus divided by R1 equal V minus minus V0 divided by R2. So that is uh, uh, your second uh, equation there. This is uh, V1. Uh, okay, that, that, that is the same as here. That is uh, this equation. Uh, in those uh, two equations, if you look at those uh, two equations, how many parameters? Uh, have a look at this equation. You have uh, V plus, have a V minus, have a V zero. You have a three variables. Um, uh, others like V1, V2 are known. Uh, they are your, your input voltage, R1, R2. Uh, you know the values. So you need one more equation, obviously you need one more equation to, uh, to find out, to solve V0. If you remember when we discuss uh, operational uh, amplifier, ideal operational am amplifier, one feature, you know, uh, we discuss uh, two important, most important features. One is with the feedback, with this uh, negative feedback, V plus equals V minus. The no difference between those two points. The potential is the same. So that is here is a V plus equals V minus. Uh, if we consider those uh, three equations, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three. And we have uh, three equations. Have <laughs> here we have uh, three variables. Now obviously we can solve any. Um, yeah, variable. Uh, in this case, what we are interested in is uh, V0. Uh, that means by those three equations, we can get rid of uh, V plus, get rid of V minus, so that we can link V0 to V1 and V2. Right. Now we have this uh, equation here. Uh, by making use of uh, this condition, uh, we can replace V minus by V plus. Uh, we have V1 minus V plus divided by R1 equals V plus minus V0 divided by R2. Now we can we make use of this uh, condition. And then we can solve is uh, from this equation here, we can solve V0. What is uh, V0? Uh, uh, V0, from this uh, equation here, from this equation, uh, if we, uh, we move R, uh, if we move R2 to this side, uh, we move this uh, to this side, uh, we have V, R2 over R1. Uh, here is V1 minus V plus equals V plus minus V0. Uh, we can work like this. Uh, if uh, we go further, go further uh, I move uh, VO to this side. Uh, we keep uh, V plus uh, here. We move this to that side. So I have uh, V zero because here is a minor sign. I move to that side is a plus. So V zero, V plus still here. I move this uh, item to right side. I add a minor sign. So that is minus R2 over R1 bracket V1 minus V plus. Uh, if I go further, I have I merge those two items together uh, because both has a V plus. I have a V plus take out. You have a one here minus minus become a plus. This is a plus R two over R one. 
And then I have this item in bottom that is uh, uh, later, this is a minus R2 over R1, V1. Uh, uh, still, we have uh, a middle parameter here, a middle param parameter, V plus. Now we should uh, make use of the first equation. We know V plus equals V2 times R2 over R1 plus R2. We make use of this uh, condition. Uh, we, uh, we can use this to replace V plus. Once we do that, we have a V zero here. That is uh, V plus replaced by this. This is V two times R two over R one plus R two. I have a one plus R two over R one. Uh, this is the same, keep, keep here. Uh, this part we can rewrite uh, in different way. Uh, we can write in this way, this, uh, this item here, this item, we can write like uh, R1 plus R2 divided by R1, right? If we replace here by this, uh, we have uh, R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2, you cancel each other. What you left is uh, R2 over R1 left, right? Now, if I write again, this is a V2, R2 over R1. And the following keeps the same, it's the manners uh, R2 over R1, this is V1, that is V1. So now we take um, this uh, common out, take this part out, you have R2 over R1 bracket V2 here manners V1. Uh, this uh, result shows indeed the output, that is the output is uh, proportional to difference between two inputs. That is uh, difference, uh, you have a coefficient R2 over R1. Uh, indeed, this is uh, proportional. Well, let's uh, stop uh, here. We start, uh, we continue next week.